This is the solution to quiz three. Okay. <clears throat> so in the first place, we know that k of x should be the antiderivative of the derivative of k of x. So that tells us that it should be the antiderivative of 20x plus 17. So that would be 10x squared plus 17x plus some unknown constant c. Okay, so now to determine the uh, value of the unknown constant c, we'll use this information. So we're supposed to get 26 when we plug in 13. So 26 is, I'll use the calculator, 10 times 13 squared plus 17 times 13. So that's 1 minus 1, 1 plus C. And then move the 1911 to the other side. You get negative 1885 is C. And therefore, the answer to the exercise is that K of X is 10X squared plus 17X minus. 1885. <clears throat> okay, so we're given all of this information about B. Okay, so the first question is to find B. Okay. <clears throat> so for part A, The first thing we need to do is uh, find k. So the two things we know about uh, k are we know that the derivative evaluated at, uh, sorry, the derivative of b at t is 100 e to kt. And we know that the derivative evaluated at hour 5 <coughs> is 2017. Okay, so then we can combine those two to figure out if we replace this with that. So that'd be 100 exponential of k times 5 equal to 2017. So now we just need to solve for k. Okay, so that would be exponential of 5k is, uh, so if I divide both sides by 100, that would be what, 20 point 17 and then to get rid of the exponential I'll compute uh, logarithm of both sides so 5k is the logarithm of 20 point 17 so k is 
the logarithm of 20 0.17 over 5 and following the instructions that say round to three places past the decimal okay so then log 20.17 divided by 5 rounding to three places that's 0 0.601 Okay. Therefore, we've now established that the derivative of B, evaluated at T, is 100 exponential of 0 0.601 T. Okay, very good. And so now, now we can find B of T. Well, B of T is the antiderivative of the derivative of B of T. So that's equal to uh, the antiderivative of 100 exponential of 0 0.601 t dt. And that's one of the um, antiderivatives that you're expected to memorize. So that 100 is just a constant multiple, so it just hangs out. 100 times exponential of 0 0.601 t and then divided by 0 0.601 plus a constant. Okay, so then simplifying that a little bit. Uh, 100 divided by 0 0.601. So that gives us uh, equal to 100, no, equal to 166.39, uh, just using several places because I can see that I'm supposed to solve for c to the nearest integer, so that, that'll be enough to get there. Uh, and then exponential 0 0.60 uh, 0.601t plus a constant. So that is B of t. And so, so now to determine this value of C, we need to use this last piece of information. So we will use the fact that uh, the initial population at time 0 is 1326. So B of 0 is 1, 3, 2, 6. Okay. So then plugging in t is 0 there, that's exponential of 0, which is 1. So that's telling us that 166.39 multiplied by 1, and then plus c, is 1326. One, so then we can solve for c and determine that C is 1, 3, 2, 6, minus 166.39. <clears throat> well, that's 1, 1, 5, 9.61, 1, 
but then rounded to the nearest integer according to the instructions that C is 1160 to the nearest integer. As a result, the answer to part A is B of T is equal to uh, 166.39 exponential of 0 0.601 T plus 1160. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. Part B is B of T increasing or decreasing and why? Okay, well, the derivative right here, the derivative is 100 multiplied by an exponential. And exponentials are always positive, so the derivative is always positive. And therefore, uh, b is always increasing. And then the answer to part C is what happens as t goes to infinity? Well, the limit as t goes to infinity of this expression, 166.39 exponential 0 0.601 t plus 1160, well, that's infinite. So that's different. Uh, that's different from the. That's different from the previous exercise on the homework that this one is modeled after. Because the previous one had a finite limit, whereas this one has a infinite limit. For question three, these are antiderivatives, relatively straightforward substitution. So I'll do the substitution. Uh, u is 13 plus 26 log x. Then du is uh, 26 times 1 over x dx, but I don't need that 26 on the right side, so I'll move it over to the left hand side. And the correspondence is that all of this stuff inside of here is being covered by this variable. And uh, all of this part here is being covered by this differential. And after that transformation, the new antiderivative is antiderivative of u to 5 and then du over 26. So that is 1 over 26 times u to 6 over 6 plus a constant. And then uh, we need to get back into x's. So this would be 1 over 26 times 13 plus 26 log x all raised to 6 over 6 plus a constant.